this started. All right. Welcome back, Spawn and Spawnettes. My name is Azel the Demon, and this is Final Fantasy XIV. Right now, I am level 52, and I have heard a lot of people putting in their opinions about Dark Knight tanking. I'm going to throw on this video real quick and see kind of how it goes. I've gotten, in my opinion, relatively decent at tanking, especially on Dark Knight. I've been really enjoying it lately, so I just wanted to share this with you guys, see what you think, and see if we can have a, a great time. Alright, everybody's ready, everybody's ready, alright. Let's get rockin' and rollin'. So the first thing that I, I generally start off with, I, I, I really like unmending right into the unleash. Put up that whenever you can, uh, that being reprisal. There we go. The reprisal whenever you can. And then for, for, the, for the most part, I, sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I am maintaining aggro for this whole fight as we're going. I try to use my regeneration combo more often. Sorry, I apologize. I just got started streaming and trying to make sure I've got everything under control at the same time. Alright, we're back in. Alright. So yeah, I try to make sure I'm using my rotational regeneration combo for the most part when I'm tanking on Dark Knight. Making sure that we're keeping our MP up and using our healing ability. There we go. So yeah, hard slash into siphon strike for MP and then soul eater for that HP regeneration. Makes the healer's job a little bit easier and you're not losing too much potency per second for making sure that the dungeon is going smoothly. That's kind of been my personal experience with tanking a, as a Dark Knight. You can usually unmend twice per fight. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. And then... Come on, there we go. Now we've got everybody. And always keep your blood price going as often as you can. Doing that really ensures that you're keeping enough mana going. Is that where... That's where Salted Earth is. Okay. But I can't quite do that one in this dungeon, I forgot. Because this is a level 50 dungeon. Here, get back. I don't know. Alright. So, yeah. That would be the, uh, the basics for tanking for Dark Knight. If you find yourself running low on MP a lot of the time, maybe only do one unmend. Unmend? Unleash. Ah. Apologize for the mistakes. For your cooldowns, that's another really big thing. Dark Knights can be a little squishy, but if you are rotating your cooldowns properly, your healer shouldn't have much of a problem making sure you're taken care of. I haven't been having a whole lot of issues with maintaining my health, basically, as a Dark Knight. That's not a problem I've, I've been personally running into. It's always possible that other people are having different issues. This is an MMO and random this is a thing that can be a problem. Alright, moving on. A general tanking tip from my experience again. A, a lot of what I'm going to be saying is just from my own personal experience. Other people are going to have different experiences and are going to have slightly different styles of tanking and that's absolutely acceptable. That's their own thing. Um, and with that disclaimer, I completely lost my train of thought. Alright. So yeah, for your boss opener, get your dots up first, and then start rotating through your cooldowns. So I start off with Shadow Wall. I just go right in this order. Shadow Wall to Shadow Skin to Foresight 
to Dark Dance. Sometimes I'll use Dark Dance situationally. Alright, I got it. Alright. Yeah, I'll use Dark Dance situationally if, like, I want to proc Reprisal or Low Blow into their... Ah, their effects. But other than that... Of course, you want to use your blood bla blood blood blast blood bath if you find yourself getting lower on HP, or you can also use uh, dark arts and soul eater. Dark arts and soul eater can also be a pretty great HP recovery tool, especially if you combine it with blood blast. Blood bath. God, I cannot get that word right. And Wandle's going down here pretty quickly. Snowcloak, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Snowcloak is a pretty low-key dungeon to be able to show you guys all of this, uh, this information and kind of my thoughts. Alright. Moving on. Something that I've been really enjoying in the expansion is how easy it is to get Poetics. I've been having a lot of fun gearing up my characters that way. This guy, come on. There we go. Even if an enemy is right in front of me, a lot of the time I will open up with an unmend so that I can hopefully get the free unleash. That's something I really enjoy doing if I can. I've been seeing a lot of really powerful um, healer crits in the expansion. I've been seeing a lot of 2500 crits and that's been very cool. Generally makes everybody's job a lot easier. Always get your dots started first. Just kind of in general, if I see that the healer is able to DPS, I will hang back a little on my cooldowns because being able to use your cooldowns when you definitely need them is... We're going to pull these guys all the way out. Something that's very important to make sure you're doing when you're tanking is pull the enemies all the way out of the dungeon effects. Just a little side note for anybody who is newer to tanking or just, just, just a good tip in general. Especially as Dark Knight, when you can, you want to make sure you're getting your dots onto the other enemies. So that they are doing that a little bit of extra damage, making sure you're holding aggro on them as you're trying to DPS down the other monsters. This is a lot of the time why I will spend a lot of my resources on these, yep, 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 unleashes to make sure that we are holding everything. I've been having a lot of fun doing really big pulls as Dark Knight. They're really good for that. You end up with a lot of spare MP, which means you can just unleash to your heart's content. I've been having a lot of fun with that. Get this ice sprite down. My, my personal goal, I see that they, uh, the DPS, are getting the other monster down kind of on their own. And that's just something I'll do as a tank. If I see that I am not losing a lot of aggro, I will start working on a different monster than the rest of the party. Just to be sure that we're getting sort of a better aggro distribution. Sorry, not aggro distribution. Oh crap. Alright, we got everybody, so now we are definitely going to make sure that we've got Blood Price going with a huge pull like this. There we go. And just like that, five monsters down, and I am not terribly short on MP or HP. That right there is why I really love tanking as Dark Knight. You can do those massive pulls very successfully. And then 
your single target DPS isn't too bad either. Yeti. I really enjoy boss fights that are primarily about uh, the tank. <laughs> Makes me feel very, very important, and I really enjoy that. Where's he at? Where is this friggin'? There he is, okay. Shoot. I did not aim that right. Oh! It, it became okay! Life is beautiful. I really appreciate that Spriggan for uh, moving into the AoE like that. Will he get the... Oh, no, he won't get the Frostbound as well. That's a bummer. Wow, okay. I'm really losing it here. Alright, we got that guy. He's down. Now we can get back to doing the fight properly. <laughs> Right now, my main goal is just trying to make sure that I've got these... That I've got my dots up. Oh, northerlies! I don't think we're gonna be able to properly dodge this. Wow, we did it? Alright, we did it. Alright. interesting dungeon. It, when you're trying to do multiple things at the same time, Snowcloak becomes a very interesting place to be. I, I apologize, I'm finding myself not talking necessarily as often as I should. I am definitely having a good time though, so there is that. Hope you guys are enjoying watching me. Definitely trying to make this as interesting as I can. And I think between the random fails and the constant chatter, maybe I've got this down. And yet he's down. Excellent. All right. Really makes me happy when uh, the Yeti goes that that. Well, excellent, I'm getting a lot of level 90 gear. Alright, let's get all these, because from what I saw last time, because it, it has been a while since I've done this dungeon, the glacier sprites, you don't have to worry a whole lot about those guys. Yeah, look at this, The uh, this guy's just running right for, okay, let's hold her right here, I feel like that's a pretty great spot. And there we go. No more guys. I have not lost Darkseid. It's very important. Very, very important as tank that you do not lose Darkseid. That extra... Ah, yes. Absolutely, Sprocket. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, Sprocket is somebody who is hanging out in my Twitch chat because I am streaming this recording as I'm doing it. Um, getting back to it real quick. Yes, do not lose Darkseid if you are tanking. Absolutely do not. The extra aggro that you get from... Ooh, okay, we got this. The extra aggro that you get from Darkseid is completely necessary for... ...successfully tanking as Dark. Make sure you are holding your Darkseid. Okay, that guy's down. Ice bombs. Ah! <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's okay, everybody. It's 
okay, I promise we're not gonna die. Everybody on the team is probably thinking, God, why is this Dark Knight holding this so terribly? Normally, I'm a lot better than this. So maybe that's something to, to consider if you are somebody who's thinking about getting into YouTube on Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe don't record if you are not 100% awesome at your rotation in your class. Definitely a thing to consider. I hope you guys are having fun. Oh wow, okay. Tumblers are coming in. Oh man, okay. And I lost my AoE aggro generation. There we go. Big fights. I really should be doing this a lot better. Having a good time, though. And a lot of times with video games, it's the, it's important that you are having a good time. Alright. Let's get this guy. Let's do this! We don't have anybody else. Okay, just the Cyclops. I can handle just the Cyclops. Something I have a lot of fun paying attention to on tank is seeing. Let's see, where do we go from here? We go down from here. South, I should technically say. Oh, right, with the Dove Avises and the guys who transform and stuff. This is a fun little section of the dungeon. This can get out of hand if you're not careful. In Snowcloak, this is, a, very specifically, this is a part of the dungeon that I see a lot of difficulty in. There's a portion a little bit later up in the fight where there are two Dove Avises and there's a Cherry Harrier, one of these guys who transforms. If you don't DPS him down like a madman like this team did, that was, a, that was crazy. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> so target this guy and then DPS him down because when this Dragon's Blood finishes casting, he will turn into another Dove Avis. And that, ah, yep, right there. We got the extra Dove Avis, and you'll see I precast my defensive cooldown here. Because from what I've seen, these Dove Avis, they have a great amount of DPS. If you're not careful, you can really get wrecked by these guys. So in Snow Cloak specifically, especially as a Dark Knight, make sure you've got your, your cooldowns ready for this part of the fight. There's an aggro again. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Those strident screams, they're bad. Alright. And there. No big deal. We've got this. Healer doesn't have too low HP, so I feel like I am doing my job properly. Ben Rear, last boss of Snowcloak. The strategy with this boss is actually really simple. He's really easy to do if you know how to do the fight. Every other time that the icicles drop from the ceiling, he will do his Lunar Howl. And for Lunar Howl, you just have to hide behind the icicle that is not targeting people. I don't think I quite got... Oh, wow. But it's okay. I think my stone skin was still up, so it was all good. So those three AoEs, those are going to drop down three icicles. Those three icicles, two of which are going to target people and then go away. This last one right here, this will stay until he does Lunar Howl. After he does Lunar Howl, it'll also explode and go away. So you may have seen everybody in my party running to get behind that. A lot of people forget that it's every other. All right, so now we've got the three that go down, and then these two, boom. So now we're going to hide behind this one right here. He's going to do his Lunar Cry. 
I'm gonna lose a bunch of aggro because I can't quite get in to hit him. Alright. And we're gonna get our dots back up and then get back into our rotation. And that is basically how you kill Fenrir in Snowcloak. Just a quick little tutorial also in the middle of this recording. <sighs> and this is where I really have fun tanking is on bosses. Bosses last long enough that you can kind of make sure that you are getting your rotations in properly, you are doing all of the stuff you basically need to, and you get the actual time to do your rotations. Get out of the AoE, watch them land, see which two are going to hit people, and then get behind the one that's not. Just like that. He's going to get Lunar Cry in. Awesome. I was very worried. Oh, nope. We did lose. Who did we lose? Oh, we didn't actually lose anybody. Somebody definitely got hit by that and didn't die, so that's fantastic. All right. Give our player combination to the healer, just because that's kind of generally what I enjoy. Get the last piece of loot in the dungeon. And there we go. There is your quick guide to tanking as a Dark Knight in high-level dungeons. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys did. Um, also, share if you can. I really appreciate that. And then I've got the rest of the Aes the Demon brand down in the description below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.